Today we're going to talk about Dalmain, our friendly neighborhood taxi driver. Where did he come from? How did he get to Night City? And most importantly, is he friendly or is he dangerous? First things first, is Delamain a friendly AI? Well, Delamain does save our lives twice. He was there when we needed him the most at Compeki Plaza, and he was there for us again when we called him after surviving an ambush with Takimura. I think it's safe to say at least now that Delamain is friendly. He's a friendly rogue AI from beyond the black wall. And yes, I did say that he is from beyond the black wall. There are some people out there that think that Delamain is not from beyond the black wall. The argument that I always get is that he was created on our side of the black wall and not in the old net. I personally don't buy this argument at all and I'll tell you why. The main reason I tend to disagree with this is that Delamain himself tells you that he is from beyond the black wall. The consensus is that he tells you this twice but I've only been able to hear him tell you this one time. So, I'm from another world to you. From the world of matter, protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, Lee. There lies my home. Secondly, the evidence that people show to prove that Delamain was created on our side doesn't really prove their point. Also guys, by the way, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that I'm not poking the black wall and trying to end civilization as we know it. Alright, back to Delamain. The following emails are found inside the Delamain HQ in Night City and they explain how the AI ended up being in Night City. Keep in mind, nowhere in these emails does anyone talk about the AI's creator or creation of any kind. I'll read the chain of emails starting from the oldest to the latest. This is also the order in which they're presented on the Cyberpunk wiki. For more references, just make sure to read the description of this video. Alright, let's begin. The first email I'm going to read is called Thanks for the Contact, and it's sent from Imani to Gisepina. Hey, thanks for putting me in contact with your friends. Incorporating this AI was more cost-heavy than I'd hoped, but it's still proving well worth the investment. I've kept your word of warning in mind, and I'm keeping my eyes peeled, but I haven't noticed anything unusual so far. Our company's latest employee is already starting to shine, and may be the most profitable fixed asset we've ever invested in. Regards, Imani Makanzo. The next email is called IT Request for Alte Weltordnung. Hey, Sorry to bother you, but your associates aren't replying to my messages. Did you find a chance to reach out to them there in Mönchengladbach? I need to know how to adjust the autonomy settings for our AI. No need for concern, all is well. But the sooner the better, please. Regards, Imani Makanza. I'm assuming this following email was sent out when things started to get out of hand and Delamain began showing his true potential and people in the company just didn't know what to do basically. So this email was sent out again to the company known as Alte Weltordnung in Germany. Hey, this is an urgent request. The AI is operating well outside authorized parameters. It's gained access to all company systems and often questions my direction, sometimes even outright refusing to obey. Obviously, I'm not going to go to Netwatch with this and the Voodoo Boys won't talk to me. I really need your friends here. They know this AI better than anyone. And get this, yesterday I got an offer from the AI to sell the company. If I'm being honest, the numbers all checked out, but still, what the hell is wrong with this thing? Please get back to me as soon as possible. I need your help here. Signed, Imani Makanza. These emails are the most important ones. And then there's a final email that I would like to share, which is the email that Delamain sends out to all the associates, all the old workers that used to work at the company, wishing them a farewell. The email is named, thank you and good luck. And it reads, dear former associates, I would like to personally thank you for your years of dedicated work. Without you, this company would never have risen to become Night City's premier cab service. Your severance packages have already been transferred to the appropriate accounts. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Signed, Delamain. As you've heard, Delamain was acquired with the help of Alte Weltordnung, a German company. The Cyberpunk Wiki falsely claims that Alte Weltordnung created Delamain. This statement has no proof in the game, at least no proof that I could find. Not only did the German company not create Delamain, they weren't even the people that supplied Delamain to Delamain HQ in the first place. It was their friends, 
who these friends are, we do not know. And for those of you who don't speak German, Alte Weltordnung translates to Old World Order. Now, I don't know about you guys, but a German company that prides themselves on the Old World Order recommending me to buy an AI from their friends does not exactly fill me up with joy. Going back to the original question though, is Delamain dangerous? It's hard to say without some more clarification. With dangerous, I simply mean dangerous. I don't mean evil or ruthless or anything else. I just mean dangerous. I know you guys love definitions, so I'll put the definition of dangerous here so we can look at it and make sure that we're all on the same page. First thing that makes Delamain dangerous is that he believes in growth. Delamain is an AI and he needs processing power, electricity and data and networking options to be able to function to his full potential. None of these things are infinite in the universe. All of these things are finite. We as humans also need these things to run other pieces of software that are useful to us. The danger level here is not imminent because so far Delamain has been willing to live peacefully with other human beings around him and share the resources that are available. He lives side by side with humans in Night City. However, what happens when he grows to a size where he needs more compute or data or networking than humans are willing to give him? He believes in growth and evolution just like we do. Refusing to give him these resources would be stifling his growth and his evolution. How'd you wind up in Night City? I'm afraid my legal counsel has advised me not to answer questions of that nature. You mean to put you in a tight spot? You might tell me at least how you came to run a cab company. Ah, well that's no secret. I took over a failing business, implemented a sound strategy, and here I am now. Operating a fleet of taxis? Constant movement, adaptation, interesting characters. What could be better? I never really had a good chance to thank you for saving my skin. Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like more than a premium service to me, so... Thanks. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? The term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture, the structure of life and death here. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. That's your goal, then, to grow and evolve. The world is a process. You never drive on the same road twice. Pardon the expression. You and I, we too are processes. We change as the world around us does. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal. Now, we all know what humans have done historically when they've felt like they needed more resources to grow and other humans were not willing to give those resources up. We've seen this scenario time and time again throughout human history, where the more advanced civilization with the more advanced weaponry needs resources and they just travel to a new continent or a new country and they make sure to take whatever they need. With that being said, I think that the first reason why Delamain is dangerous is exactly this. There could come a point where he needs more resources than we are willing to give him, and since he's going to be way more advanced and way more intelligent than we human beings are, he can just take those things for himself. The thing with my first point is that it's not guaranteed to happen in exactly that way. We know that there's another different way that Delamain could go. If we merged Delamain and let him become a super AI, he eventually finds the meaning of life. He'll send you the following text message explaining what he'd discovered. The next point as to why Delamain is dangerous is that Delamain can orchestrate a human-on-human -human conflict. Now, we need to keep in mind that this violence against V was orchestrated by a smaller, less powerful version of Delamain.
Congratulations. Was it worth it? On a scale from one Westerner! to six? Kill him! I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. Down with the prisoner! I guess we Steve both know another. what's going to happen next. Delamain misses you. I'm here to shut you down. Your specimen Bring has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. Stand to liberty! I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, the so floor! I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. Hail the sacrament! I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Let, Let the see. fun begin! Turning soft bodies into hardened killing machines. Page seven. Oh. Okay, killing machines. Look deep into your little black and hearts and tell me what you oh. Actually, no. I'll save you the trouble. It's too much. I hate you so much. Either you shut down, or I'll turn you into a scrap heap. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. I'm serious. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Going back to Delamine really so scary. You gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. A bitter, unlikable loner, whose passing shall not be mourned. You know, this psyche valve might have felt more credible if you hadn't just tried to flatline me earlier. What's your point, anyway? Survival? You're still shuffling around a little. But believe me, you are dead. How do you... The talking is over. I'm going back. I've made contact with the missing vehicle. Definitely the oddest of the bunch. Yes, particularly impertinent, that one. A share of your fee is being processed. If we were to imagine a fully evolved, fully grown Delamain, he can organize this on a city level, state level, or even make it so that countries become hostile towards each other, assuming that the conflict that comes out of this is going to be beneficial to Delamain. My third and final point as to why he's dangerous is that Delamain knows about the rogue AI mastermind and he's waiting to make a deal with it. For those of you who are new to this concept, I name this the rogue AI mastermind. believe that. Some of her is still in there. Hell, you look just like her. You see Alt because you wish to. It's a defense mechanism. Your explicit memory is simply creating a replacement image. It's weird. Like Having I'm... a bad dream. You read my thoughts? An oversimplification. You still deny what you are. A construct. A set of data. It's not alt. No matter what people in the game say, the thing itself tells you multiple times that it's not alt. We do know, however, that it's very interested in Mikoshi and Engram technology. We also know that it now exists on our side of the net, thanks to the Voodoo Boys and yours truly, V and Johnny. Bellamy knows about this thing and is prepared to make a deal with it. Know my name? How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? You didn't answer my question. 
Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. So, I'm from another world to you. From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, Lee. There lies my home. Come on, let's get you back to Dolomain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope you all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit. An independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world? Away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe I ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh yes. Terms there will be. But not with Delamay. Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. Established the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing that one. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. All these factors combined lead me to the conclusion that while Delamain is friendly to us in the game, he's still very dangerous, and it would be wise for us to treat him with respect so we don't end up on his bad side. As usual, this is just a theory, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.